What's going on? Welcome to Passion TV episode number 17. Um, <laughs> interesting stuff. So let me ask you a question. Why is it that people, let me fix my camera here. Why is it that people don't like self-help? What's so terrible about somebody getting up in the morning or getting up in their day working on themselves? But who's saying this message? I've been in front of people where people say, you know, this person had self-help stuff all over their page. You know, this is crazy. But the people that are seeing that it's crazy, what they're inviting you to is mediocre. Because what is what are most of their conversations? Other people. I've been told by a lot of entrepreneurs and myself, you overanalyze things too much. So what does that do? If you listen to it, it puts you in a state of you don't think. To think for yourself or to think about a situation that you're in and to think something different is too much. I've been in circles where with conversation with people who like, why are you talking so about so many complicated things or whatever it is? It's just so much stuff. People are striving daily for you to become mediocre. Mediocre is the way. Get you a good job. Don't go out there and risk. Don't do anything. Just follow what everybody else is doing and you'll be fine. But then, the people that decide to ignore all the noise and move in the direction of their passion, their purpose, the things that make them excited. And let's say they start to do well, then those same people will say things like, I know that guy. Me, me, my, this guy and myself, we're friends. We go way back. And then I'll ask you for an application to work. Or then when you become successful, they make up things like, well, why don't you give back? You know, it's so funny. And let's be honest. It really isn't anything wrong with self-help. Something wrong with you. And what is that thing? You're sick and tired of being mediocre. You don't like it. You're not comfortable with it. But when you see somebody doing something that you can say, well, if they can do it, I can do it in your head because you won't reveal that to them because the pride is bigger than Mount Everest. You won't reveal that to them. So what you do, you sit back and write Facebook posts about them. You know, talk behind their back, call them crazy. And the focus become on them. And you're taking the focus off yourself. I've had people, now, now hear what I'm about to say. It's crazy to wake up at 5 a.m. Well, actually, that's incorrect. I wake up at 4 a.m. What's crazy about it? That's insane. You should live life and love life. But I am. Because I'm taking the time to work on my fitness, which can prolong my life. Diet. Um, appearance. Ability to make more money, which I can enrich my life by taking more trips and not being uh, worried about the phone ringing from a bill collector and and taking care of bills and everything I have to do to live a great life. What's wrong with that? I think it's time to come clean, people. I think it's time for the mediocre to stop telling lies and tell it like it is. We don't like ourselves. We want to be successful. We just don't know how. We don't mean to put you down when you when you talk about self-help and and talk out of the box we just afraid of it that's really the truth so we have to sit there and listen to these lies over and over because for any of you who are trying to make it i bet you can agree with what i'm about to say as soon as they know you're about to make it here comes the negative comments out of blue you could be sitting there so tell me about this stupid business or this little business that you're thinking about doing. Think about it. So for those of you who are moving in the direction of entrepreneurship, remember, 
that it's not about them. It's about you. When you're on a plane, they tell you to put your oxygen mask on first for a reason. Because you have to be breathing in order to help someone else. So learn how to breathe on your own. And don't argue back and forth with people. Let people be people. Because at the end of the day, you're changing. You're getting to live the life. And they may become jealous of it. But then maybe they'll do some deep reflection and understand, I could have had that too if I would learn how to do that. So, I'm going to leave it as that, people. That's all I have to say. Thank you. And I will see you in another episode of Passion TV. Take care.